Hey guys, in this vlog, I'm going to answer some Instagram questions that were put to me fairly recently. All right, let's get to it. Hi, Stefan. If I were to build a platform like Amazon in 2018, e-commerce website and a mobile application for it, which language have a better future? Which language has a better future? I think you meant to say. Do I go with JavaScript, Angular and React or React? Do I go cross-platform for mobile and desktop? So many questions and possibilities right now. Thanks in advance. So there's a bunch of things here. First of all, you want to create an e-commerce site, which has a better future. I think that you're going to see that the two platforms, if you will, or the two languages that are going to be here for a long time, especially for small and medium-sized businesses, is going to be the JavaScript stack, whether you go React, Angular, and Node, or the PHP stack, whether you, you know, PHP, Laravel is probably your best choice. Which one you choose, that is up to you. I think JavaScript's server-side deployment, if you will, server-side tools are becoming better and better and better over time, more and more refined, but it's still a little messy compared to PHP, simply because PHP is far more mature. JavaScript is here to stay because it's so popular, and uh, so is PHP is here to stay because it's so popular. PHP, by far, by the way, is still the most widely used server-side programming language, and uh, that ensures its longevity for many years to come. Now, in terms of creating mobile applications, especially for a store, I would not be creating native apps Really, you could do it with responsive websites. This is not like you're building a game that requires heavy-duty processing. And I would just create a responsive website. If you wanted to do native apps for mobile, then I would probably look to PhoneGap or React Native in that situation. This way, you don't have to create a version for iOS and a version for Android. You don't want to have to maintain two code bases. But since it's a brand new project, this is where my business mind comes into play. I would build it as a responsive website for now and see if you get any traction with your e-commerce site. And then if you do get a lot of traction, then you may want to go to React. Now, here's the thing. People are loath to download. They don't want to download some random app, especially an e-commerce app, onto their phone. I don't. I'd rather just have a responsive website. This is not the same thing if you had some sort of game that required the horsepower of a native app, then, and if the game is compelling enough, then they might download it. But to download a, uh, a mobile application for just for an e-commerce site, I'm not sure if that would make any sense. So there you have it. That's to answer question number one. Actually, you know what? There's going to be no question number two, just so I can keep these videos more subject specific. Just like when you're writing code, you don't want to have huge objects that do 20 different things. You want to keep your objects fine-grained, very specific to a particular task at hand, just like this video.